Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays, season's greetings. Whichever one you prefer to hear, I hope you're having an amazing time. It's currently the 26th of December. Not, not for me. You're always wonky when I put you down. By the time you are watching this, I will not be in London. I won't be here. I will be back home with family, with friends, hopefully relaxing, hopefully taking a bit of time uh, for myself uh, and to spend time with family because I don't do that that often. I am the only family member who lives here. Everyone else is up north. So, um, a few things that I do want to say. So actually today I need to go to Hatton Garden uh, and I need, to, I need to send a watch from there. But also, I have a good friend who has been very, very helpful. He is another dealer. He is Watches London. I have a card for him and also I've got him a bottle of red wine. Do you drink red wine, Nick? I, I don't I don't know, but this is this is what you're getting. I'm sorry. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's helped me in my business. But also, I have to say at this point, as we're coming to the new year, thank you to everybody who watches my videos, likes the video. If you've subscribed, thank you so much. I it it, it really does mean a lot. I, I try and keep things upbeat, light, and positive on my channel. I try and show you as much as I can, and and that's pretty much the aim. You know, I want to be able to offer amazing watches to you guys but also I want to I want to entertain I want to show you a bit of a bit of fun as well. With that in mind, I have sold this root beer GMT. So I do need to send this today, uh, but I do need to take out some links because I know the size of the guy's wrist. So I'm going to take the links out, I'm going to package it up, I'm going to send it and then we're uh, then we're going to head off to Hatton Garden and I'm going to force Nick to drink all of this. <laughs> Make Rolex available again. Truer words have never been spoken. I like this a lot. I really do like this. Uh, there, there's a, a red and a black cap available for, for the Make Rolex available again. And it's the boys at Trotters who are offering this. So go to Trotters Jewelers, uh, check out their merch section. They have a bunch of other stuff there as well. I, I do love a cap. So I think, do you know what? Let's, ha let's have a look. I'm gonna see how many. So we've got one, two, Three. I thought I, I thought I had another. Maybe not. Okay, so I've got four. I got these. They they gave me these ones. Uh, so I've I finally made up for it by buying one. Yeah, I've got I've got a lot of caps. Anyway, I need to go home. It's it's time to go home. So I'm gonna go home. Okay, so I'm in the north of England. No, I'm not. I, uh, I did go back up north for two days. I'm actually now back in London, Euston. Well, I'm back in London, I'm at Euston Station. The reason for that is because I've sold some watches. So I've had to come back to London to deliver them, which isn't a bad thing, right? But anyway, back in London. Uh, so I've sold three watches. So I need to go back to mine, deliver the watches, and yeah, I'm here for one more night. Okay, so. So, 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 so. Here is the first watch that has been picked up, a beautiful green dial OP41. Now, speaking of OP41s, what the hell is going on with the, the Tiffany color OP? I posted an Instagram story where on Chrono24, there were four going at like 80, 85,000 pounds. Okay, so here's my two cents on what has happened and why I think it's happened, okay? So because of the Tiffany & Co 5711 release, I think that watch dealers have bumped up the price in the hope that people, the everyday person, will want to buy it. They're chancing their arm, they're trying to make as much profit as possible, and it's almost like as a group, dealers, not including myself because I don't have one to sell, but people are bumping up the price and they're hoping that that's the money that they'll get for it. Will they get 40, 50, 80,000 pounds? Absolutely not. Maybe 15, the, the, the most expensive one I've seen go is 23K, and to me, that is that is stupid. That it's a it's a stupid stupid thing to do. Do not in this situation follow the hype because it will come back down. Absolutely guaranteed that this watch will come back down in price. It may come back down to like 15k, right? From what was it at 13, 14k, which is still very expensive. But yeah, it might come down to 15, maximum 18k. My final words on this: if you're interested in a 41 mil uh, turquoise. Uh, Oyster Perpetual, try get one from your authorized dealer at 4.7K. 
okay? If you can't do that, uh, wait. It's not worth buying it now. It's not worth buying it. It's not. Don't do it. Uh, it will come back down in price. You will lose money if you buy it for 20, 30, 40 plus K. You will lose money. I think I lost you sooner than I wanted to. So, 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 another very happy customer uh, with the, the green 41mm OP. Very good to meet uh, someone else getting into the watch game. So what is in the box that I showed you before? Well, I, I think I've sold three of these in the last month. They're just so popular at the moment. They're so popular, the GMT root beer, it, the 1267-11CHNR, uh, the two-tone steel and rose gold. Rolex GMT Master 2. It's it's a really popular watch, hence why I've had so many inquiries, hence why I've sold three in such a short uh, period of time. So this one is going to a, a customer in the north of England, so I'm actually gonna take this one back when I go up north. Well, anyway, I need to pack my bag. Uh, I need to put this in my bag because I'm going up north with it. Um, yeah, hopefully this time I can actually stay in the north for a little bit longer than two days, unless that is, if one of you guys wants to buy a watch, if you're interested to buy a watch, by the way, I will say, just get in touch with me, shoot me a, a DM on Instagram. Yeah, happy to talk anytime, guys. I am gonna go out and get some food, might see Alex for the last time before Christmas uh, and before we go to New York. Also, if you're thinking about commenting anything about this, just don't. I know it's bad. <laughs> I know it's really, really bad. I wish it was... <sighs> well, I'm actually now in the north of England again, and I'm gonna be staying here. I've got the watch, and I've got one more train to go, and then I'll be home for Christmas, so... Yeah, I can finally relax, but yeah, I am delivering the watch tomorrow. I'm gonna get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I'm driving home for Christmas, yeah. Well, I'm moving down the line. All right, if you can tell, I am in Manchester. It's looking very Christmassy in Manchester right now, which is good. So last year, I lived in Manchester for like half a year. And I only moved back to London January this year. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't really like it here. Sorry for anyone that lives in Manchester, but I, I lived city centre during COVID. I just wasn't I just wasn't that enjoyable. So sorry guys. I like Manchester, I like to visit. But anyway, like I've said a hundred times already, I've got the watch. I'm gonna go meet the guy who has bought the watch. And uh yeah. That's pretty much it. Driving in my car. Driving home for Christmas. Well, that was a short and sweet trip into Manchester. I have finished my Christmas shopping and wrapping. Um, yeah, so the, the guy who bought the GMT root beer was, first of all, lovely guy. Um, really, really nice to see him grow in his collection. Um, and he was obviously super happy with the watch because it's a, a, a winner of a watch. Um, back home now. Yeah, pretty much ready for Christmas. What a year it has been. It's been it's been mad for, for so many different reasons. I mean, it's not even finished it. I mean, next week, um, I'm going to Manchester again. I am delivering a watch in London and then going to New York all before the, the year ends. So I don't know why I'm talking about 2021 being over yet because there's still loads to do. But yeah, next week's episode will be, will be a good one. Um, as always, please like, subscribe. Uh, chat to me on Insta. If you've got any watches to sell, let me know. If you want to buy something, just, just get in touch. Uh, but yeah, a lot of business updates also coming your way. If you're interested to know what it's like to set, set up a business, you know, all the, all the things that come with that, that is coming very, very soon. Probably in the next episode, because I think you're due a, a business update. But yeah, it's Christmas Eve for me. I don't really want to uh, be worrying about my camera and getting footage for a YouTube video. So, Hope you don't mind. I'm gonna put the camera away now and uh, I'm gonna have a drink. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon, bye bye.